Hey guys, this is I, and in today's video, I'll show you everything you need to know about Switch Health. How to register, what's inside a self-test COVID kit, and how to take your own COVID test on day 8 in Canada. If you are traveling soon to Canada or just curious about the process, then this video is for you. So, let's jump right into it. A little background first about myself, I am an international student who recently traveled to Canada. I am currently on my day 13 of my quarantine and I had to take three COVID tests in just two weeks. The first one was taken 72 hours before my flight to Canada. The second one was taken on arrival at Toronto Pearson International Airport. And the third one was taken on my day 8 in Canada. This used to be taken on day 10, but as of April 23rd, 2021, the government of Canada changed it to day 8. Switch Health is the official testing partner of Toronto Pearson International Airport. Other international airports in Canada may have a different testing partner. Both the on-arrival and day 8 tests are for no extra cost to travelers. I'll share the link in the description box, but you can easily search Switch Health in Google. To register, click the icon at the top left corner and click Register. Fill out your name and email address. You must select a security question from the drop-down list and input your security answer plus your desired password. Since I don't have a health card yet, I am ticking this box. Enter your date of birth, gender, a Canadian mobile number, and the address where you will be staying in Canada while in quarantine. Switch Health will email a recommended time slot for your test. You may log in early as the wait time can take up to 35 minutes. Airport staff will give you an at-home COVID test kit to take on the eighth day of your quarantine. The contents of the box are alcohol pad to wipe your package down before sending it off for shipping, Absorbent sheet, not a tissue paper. This needs to be shipped inside the biohazard plastic together with your test tube. Sampling swab, an instruction manual, test tube, tube label with instruction, biohazard plastic, sticker to seal the box, large bag where you'll put your sample for shipping. Note that you will be shipping the box itself to the lab, so do not throw the box and do not open or use any of the contents prior to your test schedule. Yeah. Aside from the contents of your box, you will also be needing a government-issued ID, a pen, clean tissues, and hand sanitizers. On the day of your test, you will log into Switch Health and click on At Home Test Kit. You will enter the nine digit code on the side of your test tube to register your kit. Two hours later. My name is Nicole, and I'll be helping you with your test today. Yes, May I have Nicole. your name and birthday, please? Okay. Is this your day one or day eight test? Day eight. Okay. Are you the only one who's doing the test? Yes. Okay. Um, so you will need a pen, a um, some tissue paper to blow your nose, hand sanitizer, and your photo ID. Okay. Do you I have all you. these things ready to start the test? Yes. Okay. Can I see your ID? Okay. Here is my Can you show me passport. 
Okay, thank you. All right, now can I ask you to please use your own tissue paper to blow your nose and then clean your hands with your own sanitizer. All right. Okay, done. Oh, maybe serial number on your tube? Here you go. Okay, thank you. Hey, did you write your name and birthday on the label for the tube? Yes, I already did, but I haven't attached it to the tube yet. Okay, so you can attach it to the tube now on the opposite side of the serial number and barcode. Okay, all right, done. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we do suggest that you keep a copy of your serial number as reference until you get your test results back. Okay. Did you want to take a minute to report that? Yeah. One second. Okay, I'm good. Now carefully take the cover off of your tube and then set that aside somewhere where it won't spill and get your swab stick. Okay, open the swab stick from the side that does not have the bristles. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to explain the test to you and then you can start the test. Okay. Um, okay, so you're going to hold the stick from the notch, which is about halfway up the stick. Okay. And then put only the bristles into your nose. Okay, and then roll your fingers like this. And while you're doing that, you're also doing small circles on each side for 15 seconds. Right. So I'll tell you when to stop and move to the other side. Okay. okay, got it. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Three, two, one. Okay, next side. Three, two, and one. Okay. Put the bristles down into the tube and break the stick from the notch. Okay. And then cover the tube? Yeah, cover it tightly and then put the tube into the biohazard bag. Is there a white sheet in it? Can you yeah. put the white sheet in there too? The absorbent sheet? Yeah. Drop it in. Close the bag. Take everything out of your blue box and put the test in there. Close the box and seal it with the sticker from the package. Okay, then clean your hands again with your hand sanitizer. And then put the box into the red carrier bag. Okay, remove the silver seal from the top of the bag and fold it onto the top white line. Okay, perfect. So now your bag is ready for pickup. So you can schedule the pickup one of two ways. You can either call Purolator and their phone number is on the white sticker on the front of the bag, or you can schedule the pickup online through Switch Health. So after this call, you go back into Switch Health and click on the button that says schedule pickup. Okay. okay. Um, you also want to use the alcohol from your package to clean your bag. Just be careful not to wipe the labels and then leave your test in the fridge until it's ready for pickup. Do you have questions? Um, no, I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Nicole. Bye. Okay. Um, Schedule pickup. Done. Leave your package an hour before the start of your pickup schedule. You can also track the delivery by clicking on Track Sample in your Switch Health account. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer all your questions. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye!